Mm. Aquí me ha had tacos. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Panda Jess and welcome back to my channel. I know I have been on a month-long hiatus, uh, but I really felt like I needed to take a break and <laughs> there's a lot going on in May. So I kind of just wanted to like focus on the things that I was doing and experiencing. I went to concerts, I went on a week-long vacation, which was really nice. It's my birthday, yes, yeah. Uh, I was kind of just like enjoying what was going on and that's that's pretty much it. There, there's like no real excuse. I don't want to say it's an excuse, but yeah, uh, I am back. For today's video, I am doing an anime related video. Uh, last year, I did this video called um, Anime Survival Guide. You guys seem to really like that, so I thought that instead of a survival guide, I'd kind of go more into like tips and what I feel like you guys should definitely know for Anime Expo. So these are definitely based on my experiences and what I do at Anime Expo specifically. So I hope it helps. They're my top five tips for you guys and yeah, I just, I hope it helps you when you go to Anime Expo. If it's your first time or if it's like your fourth time, I feel like these tips would really help either way. So yeah, uh, I'm ready. Let's get into this video. Okay, so the number one tip that I have is when you're at the convention center, you have your phone. So you definitely should use it. And there's this thing, there's this thing called notes or you can like use text messages or whatever you use to like type stuff. Um, I use my notes app and I go basically it's to list everything that you find at the convention center that you may want to buy or see. So this is what I use this is what I did at WonderCon. Um I took pictures of items and like I also put their booth number and like how much it is if they don't have a sign. So for me, if I also have like a budget, then I kind of like can see, oh, it's this much and it's here. And it kind of just like helps me figure out what my priority is. So I kind of like have like keychains. Oh, I have like keychains and... <laughs> like stuffed animals and art and just there's so much and I just list everything on this thing and I can go back to it and like reference it and like oh I don't have to look through the whole convention center again just to find this one item I have the booth number down and I know how much I'm gonna buy it for so it's just it's simple it's easy it's just how it's just helped me for like a really long time um, sorry, my hair is like wing. Also, if you like find something and you like write it down with the price, if you go around the convention center, you might find the same item at a cheaper price. So you can basically just choose which one you're gonna go to for the cheaper price. Like, what? So it, like, I've personally found stuff that's cheaper and like on sale and stuff at the convention center from walking around that one time. So yeah, uh, I like lists. I feel like it just helps you with the chaos that is Anime Expo or just any convention center. So definitely, I hope that helps. I used I used to just use the book, like the, the guide, Anime Expo guidebook or con convention guidebook and like circle, like booth numbers and like stuff that I wanna see but just you have to go through the pages and you have to like find it on the map so you like it's it's too much so I definitely think it being on your phone and just in one really really helps figure it out and just go through the convention center smoothly and yeah okay so this is <laughs> one thing that took me a while to figure out um 
I know last year I said that like mini backpacks really help but honestly if I had to give you guys one advice it'd be no backpack at all or just like a tote bag so nothing with zippers nothing with tons of pockets it helps you go through the anime expo line so much quicker they separate it into lines of backpacks and bags and no backpacks and bags so i was in the line last year and i had like a small bag like a small backpack and people were just walking through with no bag so they didn't have to get checked it was super easy for them to just go through and i was just like standing here uh, in the sun just waiting to get my bag checked and you know some of the people who are checking the bags they go slow on purpose not fun anyways uh what i'm saying is my advice would be no bag <laughs> no backpack like you could literally hold everything like your cards and your cash in a super tiny card wallet that can go in your pocket and then you have your phone like that's all that's all you need and you could also get like one of those like foldable uh totes i know that they like it's called a reusable tote and it like you could fold it into like a tiny little tiny little bag that helps unless you're like buying like a huge ton of things I feel like even the big things they'll give you a bag like there's really no reason for you to have a backpack at all like no no so yeah card wallet phone keys good and then you have a tiny tote so one of those totes even if you like do want to bring a bag the ones that you could just open and then did they just look in it there's no pockets there's no zippers so all you have, you literally just have to open it and then they just wave you through so that is my tip number two going on to tip number three would be setting a budget so for me setting a budget like for the weekend doesn't really help but setting a budget for the day definitely works out better for me so i'd rather spend less than spend like so much more for what i had planned for the weekend because i didn't plan accordingly <laughs> i feel like if you know like what's going to be at the convention center you can kind of like budget out how much you want to spend uh one of the other things i wanted to really stress is that if you wanted to buy something you might want to like hold off until like the end of the day or the next day and if it's not there the next day then it really wasn't meant to be and i feel like you don't have to be so upset about that you missed out you know i mean if it is there and it's something that you really wanted and you're just like thinking about it constantly that's kind of where i go okay i thought about this all day and i looked at everything else and i keep coming back to this item then yeah you should definitely buy it but it's not more of like talking yourself out of it it's if it's like constantly in your head and I feel like that's when you know like you know in your heart that you don't need to wait anymore because that's exactly what you want because there's so many things that you want at anime expo but there's like that one that one thing that you really really want and you don't need to talk yourself out of it because you know i don't know if that makes sense but going on with like budgeting and money i feel like no i know i know you guys can always haggle so instead of bringing credit cards and debit cards you should always at least have like cash on hand because they charge you for tax when you use cards 100 percent of the time it doesn't matter if it's a big booth or if it's a small booth 100 percent of the time they're going to charge you tax so if you come with cash it's just flat dollars and i mean i feel like you don't have to be like this but i feel like if you just go like oh you know i only have this much they'll take it like they just want to get rid of that inventory you guys they don't want to bring it back so definitely don't be like oh like it should be this much just ask them like oh give me a deal and they they will they'll do it you guys so haggling and deals definitely 
They won't just do it for the last day, so try your luck at it. So I really wanted to talk about, for my fourth tip, about exclusives. I know the word exclusives sounds amazing. Like, they get me all the time for it. I feel like you need to know like the company and like how they do their exclusives and like I feel like you kind of just like know. So for like Funko, their exclusives are really not exclusives because it'll come out in stores and like whatever. But I went to Comic Con and they, at Viz Media they had like all these My Hero Academia exclusives and I've never seen anyone else like no stores, no other conventions sell that. So as long as you know the company and like how their exclusives work in the past, you can pretty much figure that out like if it's an actual exclusive. Because if you don't get it the day of, you really shouldn't be too but hurt about it because in maybe a few months after Anime Expo, it's going to show up in stores, it's gonna show up online, I promise you. Especially like Crunchyroll exclusives, Funko exclusives. Please, please do not be sad or like mad that you missed out on an exclusive. So yeah, that's just like my own thing that I kind of like figured out because I was, I was that person. I'd like wanted to buy an exclusive like all the time. Like, oh, I'm the only one who's gonna have this. But no, it comes out two, three months later, maybe half a year later because they think that you're not paying attention to that but you are. So my fifth tip, I think I mentioned this in my survival guide, it's using like social media. So Twitter, Instagram, the Anime Expo website, that's usually where I go to plan my stuff. So like signings, guests, concerts, like merch, all of that you can find on the Anime Expo app. I don't usually go to the app, I kind of just stick to like Twitter and Instagram. And then if I want to go more in depth, I'll go to their website. So definitely plan ahead because there's just so much. You really can't do everything. So find your priorities, figure out what you really want to do, and plan accordingly. That's all I can really say about it. So be realistic. It's kind of, it's kind of what you want to do and what you can do because you definitely can't do like a concert and then go to a signing and then wait in line for this exclusive and go to a panel like <laughs> you really can like smash stuff in together but i feel like it'd be like so stressful and like you won't have fun unless you're like you live for the adrenaline and doing so many things at one time. I, for me, no. I really, I put two things that I want to do one day and as long as I get those two things done, my day's good. I can like talk to people, I can walk around, I can buy stuff without like, oh, I'm missing out on this one experience. So if you really don't want to miss out on that experience, it's going to be like one or two big things that you want to see and do. I know I said I'd do five tips, but I have a sixth one. It's not like a tip, it's kind of just like a disclaimer. Don't be disappointed if you don't get to do everything that you want to do. There's so many things at Anime Expo, it's gotten so big. So I feel like the four days, even though it's so much, it still wouldn't be enough for some people. So if you're like, really sad that you are gonna miss like this one panel or something or the line is way too long you shouldn't feel sad about it because there's always always something else and sometimes it kind of just ends up being better more fun than what you plan to do this is kind of where like it goes from planning to like being super open about all the possibilities there is at Anime Expo because there's tons. Uh, I've been going for the last the last six years, I want to say. I've been going for a while, you guys. And if I miss out on something, I, I really do find something else. And I really don't regret not being able to like go to that one thing. I can't stress it enough. Like Anime Expo is supposed to be fun, not stressful. I really hope you guys have a lot of fun this year. I am planning to go two days 
I think I'm gonna go Thursday and Friday. So if you guys want to do a meetup, if you guys want to like hang out, <laughs> if you see me at Anime Expo, please do not hesitate to just yell at yell out Panda Jazz. I'll I'll like turn around and say hi. So yeah, Thursday and Friday. Definitely am thinking about going to Anime Expo. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I always enjoy my Anime Expo days, so... <laughs> I am pretty excited for this year. I do have some things that I like want to go to, like signings, but the rest of the time I feel like I'm just gonna be like walking around, mainly the like exhibit hall. <laughs> That's usually what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed these five, six-ish tips for Anime Expo. Uh, if you guys wanted like other advice, you can check out my Anime Expo survival guide from last year. And yeah, I really hope it helps you guys. Please give this video a like if it helps. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am back and I'm like really, really excited to be back. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another video. I'm Panda Jess. See you guys later. Bye!